Hey everybody, got a little something special for you today. We've got uh, more people that, uh, viewers out in the YouTube land that see the 1222 and they wanna try it out. So um, they're gonna be coming over today. They called me a couple weeks ago to try and set something up and we set up today as the date uh, that we were gonna do this. Uh, so it's uh, a guy, his father and his uncle, you know, they're gonna go in three ways on a 1222. And I really, I think that's the way to go, you know, with, you know, to, to save cost, all three of them heat their house with wood. They're all going to go in on the cost of the machine, and then they all uh, are going to help each other make wood, you know, and it's pretty productive that way. You know, you watch GP Outdoors, he gets a couple of guys going, and they make a, a bunch of wood pretty quick. So um, we're going to bring you some footage today of um, those guys trying out the 1222. Um, and we'll see what happens. So here, the 1222 has a five second cycle time. So, and when they measure the cycle time, it's empty. Yeah, unloaded. So the, the five second cycle time, if you were to compare it to the Ultra just on the, the speed, you know, the, the Ultra can make four pieces of wood because that you can get a four way wedge for that. But this will make six pieces of wedge a second slower, you know, is the one way to look at it. Um, but when you start getting into wood, you know, so you hit it and it starts going through, this has a lot more lugging power than the Ultra does, you know, as far as the tonnage goes. Um, I didn't write the tonnage on, oh, well, this one, well, this says the Ultra or the Axis is 14 ton. Yep. The 1222 is about 24 tons. Yeah. So the other options there are, you know, if you start thinking about money, which to me, the natural progression for a guy who burns wood at his house is he buys equipment to make it easier, mm -hmm. then he starts selling a little to pay for the equipment. You know, you're saving a lot of money on your heat bill, but then that's just what people, I see people doing. I know that's how I stepped up into this. So um, here's the 511 and the... Uh, Yep, the 916 is right. I got these all backwards. Here's the 916, and there's the 2228. So when I looked at this, right, even at today's prices, so that's 11.5. And I couldn't see myself going up to the 2228, which is the next size up, because you're talking about 15.5. And this one, where's the cycle time on here? This one has a pretty good cycle time too. I don't see it though, but I know it does. And then these these two here, the 511 and the 916, the, you lose cycle time. You save money and lose cycle time. And then you won't have that lugging power to get through those tougher pieces. Well, and you have to add things onto these too. If you want the auto cycle, you have to add that onto either one of these. They yep. come with it. Yep. And that auto cycle, finally it's like, I like that. Yeah. And the same thing with the electric start, you know, it shows on here as 300 bucks. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know. You know, I had, uh, do you ever see Brit, uh, be enough firewood? Brittany came over. She's a little, I did. I saw, the, I saw the video of those. With yeah. You. And she was wrestling those log rounds around. And you know, the key was like today, you know, the key sitting in the RTV and I was like, well, let me go get the RTV. But then I think, then I remember she didn't get the auto or the auto start. So I said, well, Hey, tell me no. They bought yep. an Axis, didn't they? Yeah. Yep. So I said, here, this is the motor you're going to get. Come over and try it, you know, and, and she started it by hand. And we just started it by hand three times, yeah. two times, whatever it was. But, you know, it works too. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not a big deal. Yeah. And so. 300 bucks, you might not have to spend that. Well, it depends on your, your situation. If you guys want to get the auto start, you know, go right ahead. You know, if you want to get the electric start. You know, I got it, but like I said, sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't. It doesn't bother me either way. We're here today. We're going to show off the Easton May 1222 to a few fellas, and I'll let them introduce themselves. I'm Darren. Um, you're looking to test out this unit. You're looking to upgrade our splitter. Don Rogi, Bearable. Yep. And then Andy Chalmers, come down and check us out. All right, cool. So... Let's, um, I'm going to go through the, uh, the operations again with you guys, just so it's 
so we're on tape. But. Mm -hmm. So um, it's a log lift and he laid these levers down so they move up and down. The furthest one away moves the log lift up and down. The next one here is for the wedge and the, it's laid down again and it moves the wedge up and down. And then these two, they're auto cycle valves so you hit them both at the same time. You send it down and it'll come back on its own. Um, we got the seven way box wedge in here now that makes six pieces of wood at a time. Um, it, this is probably, I mean, this is fast. Um, if you got the right size wood, that six way wood's fast too, because it's just once, you know, and you got six pieces of wood. That's uh would probably be perfect size for boiler wood. I burn inside my house and my brother burns inside his house. And um, I don't know if we got anything laying around right there. Anyway. You know, I was splitting wood before with a single wedge and, you know, I was making smaller wood for uh, bags. Now with this six way wedge in here, you'll see that you'll be able to change the width of the wood will always be the same, but you could raise it up, you know, to get bigger boiler wood and then drop it down to make it perfect inside wood. Uh, my brother was complaining that I was splitting the wood too small before to heat his house. And he said this, you know, he even said that this is perfect. So. Let's, uh, we're gonna, it's got this grease fitting here that uh, greases the push bar, the push plate. And um, you'd grease that, I guess every few hours, four hours or so, um, when you, and you pour, the, pour a lot of grease to it up front and then it absorbs the grease and it'll lubricate itself after that. So it's a little bit tight there. So if you guys, I don't know what kind of grease guns you got at home, but I would get one I with the, with, oh yeah. But a stiff, kind of a stiff hose. Oop, not on there all the way. Here we go. I give her a few pumps there and then pull it off and then I, I do just a couple underneath the rail here. Just to rig, lubricate the underside. Yeah. And like I said, it's not a lot, just just a couple. There's really not a lot of force going that way. Nope. Alright. That part's done. So it does have an electric start. Um, the keys are in the RTV so we'll get it start up and then uh, We'll start splitting. Do you guys have any questions beforehand? Nah, nope. We're good. Kind of want to see it go. Okay. Yeah. And, you know, I tell people, too, that um, as far as wood goes, I like the bigger the better, right? Because when you get a smaller round, you're bending over and you're picking it up. Where with the big wood, you roll it to the machine, and then the machine picks it up. Yep. So, and, and it makes much nicer wood. The bigger the bigger uh, rounds. You know, let me let me show you this here real quick. So, you see how the wedge is there right now? Yep. Right now, the wedge is released because yep. it's all the way down, and then you get it into that channel holds the wedge in there, you know, so it doesn't ride out. You know, you'll see a lot of other people run with um, slip-on wedges. Yeah. And they're they're always moving, you know. Oh, and really? when you got movement, I'm mean, sure you guys know you're gonna you're gonna break something. Yep. So, yeah. so I try to get for the small wood. I try to just engage it like that, you know. So then it's good to go. I'll get that uh, conveyor fired up. Pick this one up. I don't know if it's how heavy it is. Not too bad.
sometimes you gotta hold them just for a brief second. I, there's an adjustment. So that's good for inside the house, I think, you know. to share with you the load of wood that uh, those boys split for me while they were doing the 1222 demo um, it's a I don't know probably a quarter or a half face cord and a half excuse me a face cord and a half of uh, of different sized wood because we were trying out all the wedges and uh, making sure that uh, they were gonna order the right thing when they ordered it when they left here they said they were buying um, and they 
thought that they only needed two wedges, so. Okay, my visitors left. Um, they were extremely impressed with the Easton Made 1222. I'm positive they're gonna order one. Uh, you know, just the way they talked and what they needed and how they were gonna get her done. Um, so they had a really good time running it. We ran the box wedge and then we ran the six way wedge and um, they really liked the wood that it put out. I sharpened that six way wedge, wedge so it really went through wood pretty quick. Um, and then the one guy has a wood boiler and he wanted bigger pieces and I showed him that you know, by raising that box wedge, it really does put out a bigger piece of wood uh, for that, for the boiler, or you know, for that matter, if you were to run a bigger law, bigger round through the six-way wedge, you'd end up with a lot bigger piece of wood too. So, um, glad I could share that with them, the East of May 1222, and I'm also glad I could share it with you. If anybody out there wants to try running it. Um, I've got the tall four-way wedge too. I got the six-way and then I've got the seven-way box wedge. Give me a call, contact me through the channel, um, send me an email, whatever, and uh, we'll set something up. Um, I'm not that, I'm pretty centrally located, so I'm sure that, uh, well, even if you had to drive, it's well worth the trip. So till next time, have a great day.